Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're going into part two of Roleplay Worldwide Wrestling. Uh, we come back from an ad, probably about like a hot tub and waterbed supply store, uh, <laughs> to a, a nice close-up of Braddy B grabbed by the hair by one of the daughters of the apocalypse, uh, Pestilence, who's like dragging you back across the uh, across the ring, and uh, she uh, she points to she points to the audience, does like a long kind of wide point, and everybody's like cheering. They want blood. And uh, and she she pulls you up against her, uh, and she brings her hand up and like draws her finger across your neck and then points at eleven, uh, and then she scoops you up uh, under the like under the waist, and uh, she uh, brings you up onto her shoulder and like back drops you uh, onto the uh, onto the ring, and there's a, a rattle like a loud crash uh, as you get slammed into the ring, and everybody's like <laughs> like it looks it looks bad, uh, and uh, what do you what do you do when you get like slammed down hard? I hear that ah. <laughs> try to roll over and I look at her like I'm gonna murder her how okay. far away am I from 11 right now um like out of out of arm's reach <laughs> Shit. so are you are you gonna like, like crawl? the audience <laughs> I'm crawling <laughs> I'm fucking I don't care at this point I'm crawling I'm crawling am I within reach of the thumbtacks uh, I think you have to crawl through the thumbtacks to get oh, to no. 11. I crawl <laughs> over the thumbtacks, but I pick some of them up in my hand, and they, like, make my hand, and like, I'm throwing the thumbtacks at them, like... And, and, it's, and it's kind <laughs> of pathetic. <laughs> So it's kind of pathetic, right? And and like everybody's watching, and and yeah, announcer, do you have do you have something you wanted to say? Oh yes, I imagine the audience as soon as they see that you're bleeding, like they just kind of go into a frenzy, like from the thumbtacks. They're just like first blood, and they just like start like throwing their arms up, and like I think some of them might have like bottles of ketchup that they're squirting on each other. <laughs> <laughs> right, like like yeah, Heinz is is advertising the match. Just handed out little ketchup bottles. I have a, I have a feeling right. this is a thing that happens in matches I'm involved in like it's yeah. one of those things that just like has become a thing <laughs> you got that uh, ketchup sponsorship yeah um okay um, so you're you're crawling you're crawling through the you're crawling through the through the tax you throw a handful of them back behind you you're like reaching out towards 11 and I think pestilence comes up and uh she she looks at you 11 she like pats her elbow and then just like elbow drops onto uh onto Braddy's back just driving you down into the thumbtacks and, and I, uh yeah, what do you want to do? And I, I look at, I look at her, like look at her back, and there's this moment of like, I don't, I don't even care, you know, like <laughs> you keep making these faces at me, like I fucking care, I don't even care. Um, awesome. And and I reach out my hand, like it's almost casual to my like twisted up teammate, um, mm -hmm. to try and get the tag. So. Uh... When you uh, when you when you prep for this for this match, so you're uh, I guess how do you react, uh, Braddy? So you've just been elbow dropped hard into the into the thumbtacks. Uh, you can see that that uh, Eleven is reaching out to get the tag in. Uh, do you do you go for it? What do you do? Oh yeah, I totally go for it. Okay, and let's do the let's do the tag in. So so I think that after after she elbow drops you, Pestilence gets up and does the little walk around. Uh, and uh, and like points at the audience, she's kind of like hyping them up, and she's she's like lost track of you, which is like impossible. But she's actively not paying attention to you, so you can tag in. Um, um, so the, when the tag, when Braddy yeah is, when Braddy crawls over, uh, what what do you do? Um, the ta the tag itself, like I assume you're trying to get me in because you're getting beat up, um, Braddy. Unless you like s pick yourself back up, I don't know. Um, uh, no, I'm still crawling toward you, just like reaching my arms and just like tagging yeah. in. There's so like there's definitely there's away. Definitely, there's definitely a moment where like I go like, ah, 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 you know, like and then <laughs> right. and then and then get the tag in. Yeah, and everyone's um, like, boom. I have tax left, and I'm just like, ooh, <laughs> for all matter. Yeah. So, so so while so, pestilence is doing the walk around. I get tagged immediately. So, so hang on. So technically, okay. technically, pestilence, pestilence is still in control still of the match. Still so still 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 match. yeah. So Braddy, you need to you need to spend one of your momentum to take control, and then you can tag. Because uh, if you don't spend that momentum, what'll end up happening is you're like, uh, tag in, and then pestilence comes over and is like, not yet, motherfucker. All and right. Then yeah. Throws I'll you spend, back in the I'll ring. spend one then to to tag out. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So you can take control and pass it over to uh, pass it over to eleven. Uh, let's see how that let's see how the roll goes though. Um, so when you uh, when you tag uh, you go to tag your partner at a critical moment, uh, roll roll plus heat. Uh, so what's your heat right now, Braddy? You're making this move and it's you with eleven. Yes. Yeah, so my heat with eleven is two. 
Okay. All right. So roll 2d6 plus 2. Bam. Nice. All right. So you got that 11. That works yeah, out yeah. nicely. Once the tag is made, you get a double team opportunity on the legal wrestler from the other team. Everyone on your team gets plus one momentum. Uh, the new legal wrestler from your team takes control of the match. So, so I, Braddy, your momentum goes up to two. Eleven, you get one momentum, and the two of you get to pull off some kind of like team move. So, so on the tag, is, I like pull. I think I pull you up to your feet, like get you back okay. on your feet, and then like, you know, we we with practiced perfection. Um, uh, I, I'm gonna like drop kicker from the from the rope, like from like climb the side of the cage and just like jump drop kick uh, pestilence. So you know maybe you could like hold her or something. I don't. I'm not sure. You, you yeah, marry, like, like, marry, yeah. Um, how does how does Braddy participate in this in this flying kick? So you're you're climbing up. You said you're climbing up the cage and jumping off. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna like properly drop kicker both my feet to her chest, kind of thing. I think I would uh, distract her um, okay. for you. So I would probably be like kind of under you or next to you and uh, kind of start to go at her. So she gets scared and looks at me to think that I'm about to attack her again. Right, right. And, and that's when no, you jump. Yeah, there's no way she wouldn't see Eleven climbing the cage. And plus, like, we get that big pantomime thing where Plague, who hasn't been tagged in, is like pointing at Eleven and being <laughs> yeah. like, no, look, look, idiot, look. <laughs> and and uh, Pestilence, when you get up, she's like, oh, back for more, huh? And like cracks her knuckles, like, all right, I guess I got to finish you off. And she doesn't see uh, Eleven climbing the climbing the cage. So uh, Eleven. Would you, would you call this that blatant disregard for my own safety? Uh, like drop kicking <laughs> off a high place. I think. I mean, I think so. Yeah. All right. So I can roll real for it. Um, yeah. This is a is pretty serious move. Video. If you if you blow this, <laughs> yeah. you're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah. You're okay. Okay. So uh, so you're gonna make the make the wrestling move, and you're gonna roll with real, right? That's how your that's how your move works. And I think okay. that as soon as Eleven tags in, like people in the crowd like pull out these, you know, those blow up guitars <laughs> that you have, and they like start like tossing them around. Like that's like they all have guitars because that's your thing. So yeah, there's a bunch of blow up guitars in the audience. So I get nice. an eight on the wrestling okay. room. All right. Uh, so you get an eight. eight. Uh, you can regain control and transition to the next sequence, or you can gain momentum but give uh, give plague and pestilence control. No, I'm gonna keep control and and like move okay. forward. Um, All right. So describe describe what happens. You do the drop kick, uh, and uh, and take take control or retain control of the match. Just yeah, describe it, what it, what it looks. It looks a lot like I hit the I hit the um the mat like really hard, like the yeah, ring like yeah, yeah. really hard. Uh, when I when I sort of fall on my own, but I'm up again in like a second. Um, right. And that's, I mean, that's the thing about a drop kick, right? Is you hit her both boots hard to the chest. She slams into the mat. You hit the mat too, and you're both no, lying no, no, no. down. I, no, no. I think, I think what happens is I hit her with a drop kick and she stumbles backward and mm. like hits the rope and then uses the moment, like to try and use the momentum to like push back towards me. And then I just mm. give her the arm bar, like. <laughs> nice. Boom. So you're Light you're up across. so fast. You do the like kip up so fast that she staggers back after the kick, doesn't fall, hits the the ropes, springs back towards you, and then right into your arm. Okay, awesome. Uh, so yeah, she grabs I'll, her I'll, face. I feel like the audience is really wary too. Like as soon as she starts climbing the side of the cage, like the audience kind of just like they know what's gonna happen, and so they just kind of like step back, <laughs> like a little yeah, scared. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah, yeah. And, and and this is one of those moments where they're, they're the audience is thankful for the cage because it keeps eleven yeah. away from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so yeah, <laughs> you 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 arm yeah, you clothesline her hard in the face. Uh she she grabs her throat, falls down, she's doing the whole like I can't breathe thing. She's lying on her back. Um Braddy, uh you and you and Plague uh you know go back to the uh, to the edges of the of the ring. Uh we get a we get a shot one of the offering cameras shows uh there's a couple of um like EMTs that are like always on call for a match <laughs> that Eleven's in and they're just like standing at the side smoking cigarettes they don't even realize they're on camera and then they look and they're like oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then we cut back to the uh, we cut back to the ring. Uh, all right, eleven. So pestilence is is lying on the mat. Uh, what are you gonna What are you gonna do? Well, I'm a I'm a dirty heel, so I gotta take advantage of the fact that uh, she's she's down and out. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I did I did put that guitar uh, you know on the on the side uh, <laughs> nearby. So I'm gonna I'm gonna like in a moment of like yeah yeah I'm freaking great like you know. Yeah, like totally uh, trying to get the crowd 
uh, hyped up, whether it is to like boo me or or whatever, walk over to the uh, to to where the guitar is, pick it up mm-hmm. by the neck, and um. So you want to like, you want to work you want to work the audience. Over. Yeah, you want to work I'm gonna, the audience I'm first. Work the audience definitely. Okay. All right. So yeah, you're you're doing your stride around, throwing the horns, being like, "I'm gonna get that guitar. I'm gonna wreck this fool." Uh, roll and uh, roll and add your current audience. My current audience. Um, yeah. That's not momentum, though, is it? Um, no. You can spend your momentum to make this better if you uh, if you get a low roll. But yeah. Okay. So I think my audience mm-hmm. is zero right now. So. Okay. Um, so. Oh. Oh, and you've only you've only got one, so yeah, I can't, uh, I can't make it. So you can't you can't work the audience again uh, during during this episode, and they just boo you. They're just like, we don't like boo. You suck, <laughs> boo. Eleven, you're a dick, and uh, yeah, they don't. <laughs> they're they're not buying it. Um, but you know what? That's fine. I also imagine show. that tra- trash bomb is in the audience with her arms crossed. Just like really upset. Oh yeah, Tra- Trash Mama yeah, and yeah. Starla next to each other. Yeah. And yeah, this, and is like... this is a lesson. Like, don't be like her. She's a mm-hmm. bad girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Starla is doing the whole like, oh, like, oh god, like this is so violent, and like, oh, like they're throwing tacks, and like yeah. she 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 does this whole thing where she's like, oh, Mama, like, no, yeah, yeah. I don't want to see blood. Her, like, this is the on and is just like comforting her. Like, it's all right. This is the wrong kind of wrestling. <laughs> so you, uh, do Eleven, you walk have, over. Do walk I still over have control the, the You still scene? have control. Yeah, yeah. It just the audience doesn't like it. I think that Pestilence, uh, she's she's getting up from having been slammed down. And I think she's tagging Plague in. And this isn't like a cool, fun tag in. This is a like, I can't take it anymore. Yeah. And they like tag in. Plague gets in. She picks a thumbtack out of her, throws it on the, on the floor, like stretches. And she's like, all right, all right, I can take Eleven. Everybody likes kind of turned against her. And uh, yeah, and so she she squares off with you. Um, so, but you can still you can still go get your guitar if you want. So I think while I'm walking back over with the guitar, I definitely go and get it while they're tagging. Yeah. So and... who who gives it to you, right? Because you can't really like reach out to get it. Do you yeah. have like um uh, uh like an assistant? I've got or, like a uh... road like a roadie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Huge yeah. dude, big gray beard, trucker hat. Yeah. So he like he nods at you and he he hands the guitar up through the cage. And uh and I I I turn back around and while I'm walking back over towards Plague, I'm like. Yeah, war, plague, pestilence, death. I know songs that wreck all four of you. And then, wham! <laughs> like, I just hit her in the face with the guitar. Okay, plan, great. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, so you uh, you have a, there's a move for this. Uh, when you draw blood, use a weapon or revel in violence. Roll plus real. Yeah, real. Okay. Um, nine. Okay. All right. So now you can use your momentum to bump that to a ten if you want. Uh, here's here's how it works. On a ten plus, you'll gain one audience, which is super important. Um, you'll retain control of the match and pick one from the seven to nine list. If you stay at seven to nine, you'll gain two momentum. You'll gain plus one heat with your opponent, or someone in the match gets injured, like for real. <laughs> oh, give me give me the momentum. Give me the momentum for sure. Okay. Uh-huh. So do you want to do you want to spend one to bump it up to ten plus and then gain and two? And then get or... two. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'll do. That's that? what I'll do. Okay. Yeah. All right. So your momentum goes to two. Uh, you um, bump your audience by one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Bump your audience by one, and uh, you uh, yeah, and then you gain two momentum, and you you slam plague in the face yeah, with the guitar. I just... And there's a dis- there's a discordant like twang kind of noise like yeah right and it's like obviously a sound effect because yeah. your guitar's not plugged in yeah um and she she does get her arms up like this is a practice move this isn't you don't actually hurt her for no, real no I'm not trying to I'm not trying to like break yeah but her you're using skull. a weapon this is how we fight uh, when we fight against eleven and yeah she she takes the she takes the the guitar shot to the face slams down on her back. Uh, and uh, there's a mixture of cheers and boos at your underhanded guitar attack. And, uh, and Braddy, what are you? What are you doing? What are we? I, we I get was a gonna say, I look. To I you. look back over at Braddy, like, yeah, what up? <laughs> I'm just like bleeding from my face. I'm just like, yeah, let me back in there. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm back, and I'm ready to go whenever she needs me. So this, yeah, this is a great opportunity. Pestilence is already like pretty beat up. Plague is lying on her back, rolling around, looking for her missing teeth. Um, and this is a great opportunity if you want to tag Braddy move. in and then finish this thing. This is some finishing move territory, I think. Yeah. And yeah, I want yeah. the I want the glory. I'm not going to give it to Braddy. 
Oh shit. So Braddy reaches out for the tag and like, let's do this thing. Yeah, and what do you do? And I, and there's a moment where I like reach out then I go like, you know, put my right, hand yeah. up and, and, uh, set up for my finishing move. While she's okay. setting that up, I, uh, want to break the rules and just run in and finish it myself. <laughs> I'm playing rules. What rules? Oh uh, no. Trash awesome. mom is going to be so appalled in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, so you want to do a essentially a run in because it's not you're not allowed in the in the match right now. Uh, so uh, let's see here. A run in. When you interrupt a match in progress, roll plus heat uh, with the character you're coming after, which is uh, I think in this case um, uh, this is eleven. So uh, what's your heat with eleven right now? Two. Two. Okay. Roll two uh, d six uh, and add two. Oh. Okay, so you got a seven, uh, which means it has potential. You gain one momentum, and your target picks one. Uh, so uh, eleven, you'll get to uh, you'll get to pick one of these. Okay. Um, your interference doesn't change the result of the match, but Creative will book the two of you in a match later in this episode. So you, the two of you will fight this out later. Yeah. Um, your interference doesn't change the result, but their opponent comes after you for interfering in their business, uh, or uh, the two of you fight right now. Uh, Resulting in uh, a disqualification and uh, and the match is like it's thrown, so you you ruin the match uh, because uh, eleven attacks eleven attacks you instead, and the two of you get pulled apart. I think the fir the first one is best. Like I think I think like this is just grudge match territory. Like we'll deal with this later. Like okay, like all right, so deal, deal with these fools and then I'll fuck you up later. It's fine. Okay, so so here's the thing, eleven. Uh, you, uh, Braddy does the run in. Uh, mm. And goes for the pin. So, Braddy, you can you can make your finisher, uh, and then Eleven will remember that you stole the spotlight, uh, and nice. the two of you will have an opportunity to fight it out later. Um, uh, uh, yeah. An announce, so... Announcer, do you do you have any any uh, feedback when this happens? <laughs> so, like Eleven goes to goes to be like, Nah, I'm gonna finish this, and then Braddy's just like, The hell you are, and runs in. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, as soon as that happens, the announcer is obviously just going to be like, "Oh, this is unprecedented. We don't know. We don't know what's happening. It's it's everyone. Just take cover." <laughs> and I feel like take cover might be like a code word for something like like hide, like tell the audience to hide, or it's like oh to God. get them riled up. No, there's a there's a um there's a a a, a button that the announcer can hit and like an yes. air raid siren goes yes, on. Yeah, yeah, take cover. Yeah, because they know like they know that both Eleven and Braddy B are just so crazy that like the it just it's just on call for everyone to take cover. <laughs> and I feel like when like people like like pseudo duck or whatever, like Starla stands up and she's like to hell with this and she walks out like this is a shameful display. Yeah. <laughs> And like, like it was just bullshit. So she just yeah, walks so we, out of the match, like very visibly. Yeah. Yeah, we get the reaction from Starla right before Braddy goes for the finisher. Uh, so Braddy, you have a you have an anti-hero uh, finishing move. Um, mm -hmm. You can roll. Uh, it's two d six plus however much momentum you want to spend. All right, I'll just spend it all. Okay. All right. So we drop you so down I've to zero. I've got three momentum. Uh, you had uh, you had two before the roll. Because uh, you had to spend one to regain control, so you've got. And you've then got I got three. another one, right? Oh, that's that's right. Yeah, on the, yeah. the one that you just rolled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you have plus three, so two d six plus three, and you are booked to win the match. So. Nice. <laughs> Bam. All right. So on a ten plus, you hit your finisher clean. Uh, choose whether you gain plus one audience or whether your opponent does. I mean, I feel like this. I is mean, a I do. For you, yeah. I I do. <laughs> okay. So what does Braddy B's finisher look like when you swoop in and and steal control from uh from eleven? What do you what so, do you do? Finish, finish um, the match and pin. So uh, they're laying on the ground, right? Is it is it Pestle uh, yeah, is laying Pestle's, on the ground? Yeah, she's either she's either on her back or on her front, whichever you prefer. Um, but she's yeah, she's ready to get finished off. Yeah, so I'm gonna bring her in. Is she she's pretty fucked up, right? So I can like oh, stand help, her up. She's and helpless. Yep, you can just like pick her up and move her a little bit. I yeah. like make a fucking show of it. Like I run to one end of the ropes and bounce off and run to the other end and then come up and just grab her and put her into a pile driver and then finish in a camel clutch. And I'm just holding her <laughs> under her neck like, yeah. <laughs> right. And the ref is outside the cage. So he's just like, right. he hits the, hits the mat, counts out the three and uh, yeah. And then the, the bell rings. Um, the cage starts to lift. Eleven, what do you what do you do? Because we, we get the reaction shot for you. Like you just got cut out. I think it's I think it's like a stand there and glare situation. <laughs> um, 
there's some serious enmity like radiating off of Eleven towards Braddy B. <laughs> like, we're gonna deal with this later. And like, I'm waiting for the cage to like come up so that I can, you know, leave basically. <laughs> um, but then there's like off screen, quote unquote, like definitely on screen, like there's cameras there or what have you, um, of me like getting in the face of some manager, like the guy that you, you had at the start there, the the host. Uh, Tom, Tom, Tom Herschelford. Yeah, Tom, Tom Herschelford or whatever. Yeah, so we, yeah, we cut to you, like you yelling at him and he's like, I don't, I don't make the rules, Eleven. You can't, you can't act like this towards me. Like maybe you have him like pinned to a locker. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got like a fistful of his shirt in my hand, like up against the wall. Um, Tom, Tom like, has been, Tom has been manhandled by every single wrestler in this league at least once. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna book me in a match against Brady B. I'm gonna show her she can't steal my thunder. Like, and, and and he's like, I don't, I don't, I don't book the matches eleven. I'll talk to the president. I, I and when he says I'll talk to the president, we cut to like uh, a, a mysterious figure in an office somewhere, <laughs> it's like a huge wooden desk and uh, and like a big ashtray, and we can't see him. He's not lit, but we can see he's like big shoulders and like a brush cut, and he's like smoking a cigar. And when we hear the president, he just kind of like takes a, a puff and like puts his cigar out. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, cool. And so you do the you do the run, on. and we cut to uh, we cut to Trash Mama and Starla because the next match up uh, is the two of you, and this is the um, this is the like is she ready to wrestle match. This isn't a oh, grudge man. match, but this is the like Mama making sure Starla is ready for the big fight. Uh, mm -hmm. So the two of you are are backstage. You can cut a cut a promo together, um, and then the two of you will uh, you'll wrestle it out. All right. Um, so I think that this is like a, me getting my uh, I, I just very publicly got my cast off and it was like somebody like got it and it was super gross. And like they were like, yeah, this is great. I, got your oh, cast. No. I, I sign it and like it's just like, you know, Starla with a star at the end. <laughs> and um, then like this is like a uh, gym shot where um, like I'm on some kind of machine or like maybe like punching a punching bag or something. Right. And it's supposed to, the shot is supposed to be like live, right? Like you're, you're prepping for the match right before it's supposed to be right now, but obviously it's a community center. There's no gym. So this was all pre. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so like, I'm like punching the thing and I feel like this is um, like you said, this isn't a grudge match. Like we're working together. And so maybe like trash mama is like over my shoulder and like, she's like, yeah, like we really got to make sure you're ready. And like, um, I'm just like, yeah, like, let's go. Like, I can do this, yeah. Mama. Like, we got she's this. Just like, she's like, you know, you just got to do it. Do more. And like, make Mama proud. <laughs> and it's so weird because then we're going to fight each other. But it's cool because yeah. everyone knows that it's cool. Right. This is the, the wholesome art of wrestling. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You need to test. You need to test Starla yourself to make sure that she's not going to get herself hurt when exactly. she has to rematch with these nasty girls that she has to fight all the time. And she does uh, the classic okay. like, 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 um, head jerk, like arm pull, and she's like, "Yeah, Mama, don't worry. Like, I'm ready. I got this." So we we cross we cross fade to the two of you backstage uh, before. Actually, I guess you're you're separated now because you got to come in from the other side. And Starla, you uh, you're with uh, Tom Tom Herschelford. And uh, and Tom uh, Tom is like, first, Starla, let me just say it's uh, it's an honor to have you back. We're all just so glad you're doing all right. And he, he puts the he puts the the mic in your face. And she's like, oh, I'm more than all right. I am ready to come back. Me and Mama, this is just practice. I'm looking forward to getting back at the person who had me out of the ring for so long. And she's like, this is fine, but I, I'm already setting up for, like, the next thing later. Right. It's a, it's a foregone conclusion. You've already won this one. So um, <laughs> you still have your cast on. And he says, well, I guess there's just one more thing to do. And we, we cut over and we see, like, I a doctor. Yeah, we see it. We see a doctor with, the, like, the mask on. And he's holding like a, a circular <laughs> saw and he like revs it a couple of times uh, and, he, and, and I he do the whole like uh. yeah and he comes over and he's like just sit still my dear and he like comes in with the saw we hear the saw like and we like cut away and we see dust kind of flying in the camera and, and Tom kind of like winces and he gets some like cast dust on his face and obviously you're just taking the prop cast off yeah. and someone's like blowing dust on the camera <laughs> uh, and, and Tom uh, and Tom is like uh, uh, he's like uh uh, he says, uh, is, is Starla ready to fight? Uh, let's take it over to Trash Mama and find out. And so we cut to uh, cut over to Trash Mama. Let's have you roll your promo first, though, Starla. Oh, okay. uh, so if you can roll, uh, roll plus your look. Plus look. All right. So that's plus two. Um, 
<laughs> Ooh, uh, all right. Great. Awesome. Excellent. Okay. People so, don't like the cast so, thing. Yeah. So you cut your promo, you get a six. And uh, I think uh, I think what happens is that like it's maybe not as big a it's not as big a hit as uh, as as you expected, right? Like creative expected this to be a big, a big thing, but like we cut to the audience and they're still all fired up about that last match. They're still just mm -hmm. like really focused on your enemy. And uh, you're gonna have to work real hard to uh, to to win it back. Um, so I uh, I gotta make a move because you botched, uh, and I think I'm going to uh, I'm gonna turn uh, I'm gonna turn the audience on you, um, and uh, you lose you lose one audience. Uh, so yeah, people are like I don't know like maybe maybe she's washed up maybe she's not gonna be able to fight. You just have further to go to prove uh, your worth. Uh, we cut over to Trash Mama, and. Uh, Somehow, Tom Tom Herschelford has made his way to the other side of the stage in record time, and uh, and he says uh, he says now as a as a father of four myself, I know how hard it is to see your your kids, real or or surrogate, uh, get out into a dangerous situation. When my first boy went to college, I oh you don't want to hear about that. Trash Mama, how are you feeling about Starla's chances today? She's been in therapy for a long time and has been out of the ring. Do you think she's lost her edge? I don't think so. I prepared her as been, but she's not, she doesn't have the babushka on now. She's like just in her full outfit. Cause she's like ready. She's like, I'm going to pull out all the stops and show her that wrestling is a, is a dangerous and also noble art. She'll be a great wrestler out there in the ring, but I'm not going to be easy on her. And uh, yeah, and he, he nods and he says, tough love, a little tough love from trash mama today. Let's see it in the ring. And we, uh, we cut over, uh, you roll your, roll your promo as well. All right. So you're gonna roll plus your plus your look. Yeah, plus one. Oh, no, nice. Man. Oh yeah. So everybody is like on Mama's side here. Like they, they, there's a there's a vibe in the audience that like they kind of want you to win. They sort of don't want Starla to be ready because mm. if Starla if Starla's not ready to fight, they can never she can never disappoint them, right? Like right. they liked it. They liked it when she was hurt because they could all be like, oh poor girl, like. You know, let's let's take care of her. So they're still kind of on your side. Um, so you connect with the audience. You're going to start with one momentum. Uh, do you want to add a stipulation to the match? Uh, do you want to start with another momentum, or do you want to bump your heat up with uh, with Starla? Mm, I think I want to. I think I want to bump my heat up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah, because I feel like I feel like also she's been off out of character, off the ring, a little disappointed in her attitude because wrestling needs to be taken seriously. Yeah, nice. Okay, so in this in this match, uh, let's have um, let's have both uh, Eleven and uh, and Braddy either in character or out. Let's have both of you uh, announce this match. Oh damn! Uh, okay. So I don't know. Is this are you are you in character as announcers or are you out of character? Uh, I, think I, think, I don't think I would be. In, I don't think my care. I don't think Braddy B would ever announce something by choice. I mean, maybe to like shit all over Starla, but. <laughs> right. Okay. So this maybe this is too. You're you're not playing your characters in the scene. You're yeah, just no, I don't think you're just so. like generic announcers. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, all right. So you can uh, you can uh, jump in whenever you want. Um, as a team, one of you can do the the um, uh, the work over. You can you can bump yeah. somebody up. Uh, but uh, yeah. So we we be, we begin. I think Trash Mama, you have your intro first. Um, and as you uh, yeah as you come in. Uh, everybody is uh, everybody's cheering for you. They're excited to see you win another match. I think we see Lady Lux in the audience, kind of just <laughs> like scowling a little, like she's she's in the she's in the the front row of the ring watching uh, to to see what happens. Right, and I Crash think she's Mom watching. Will just like She's watching with like the envy of of like the younger sibling, where she's like, "Oh, I want Trash Mama to teach me how to fight." Like she's a little <laughs> jealous. She's a little jealous of Starla. She, um, she has to she has to stop her gambling habits first. That's right, exactly. <laughs> she wants to be taken to school by trash mm -hmm. mama. Okay, so uh, as uh, as uh, subhuman by by garbage uh, comes to a, comes to an end, you climb into the ring, and then we cut over to to Starla, and we get to see Starla's. And this is the first time anyone in the audience has seen this in like months. We get to mm -hmm. see Starla's intro. What does your intro look like, Starla Jones? Um, so Starla, her um, persona is very like uh, rodeo. So she's wearing like a like a sequined like bikini top and then like a like a, a cow print vest over it. And like, what is it? Is it Vala's like cowgirl skin and here's the storm? Is that who it is? Yeah, like it's like that, like a pink, 
a pink cowboy hat, a bunch of sparkles, and then like the um uh the uh bikini bottoms and the uh uh what are they called? The um no butt pants. I don't even know. Oh chaps. Chaps, chaps. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. Um but uh she comes in and she's like um she's really missed the show of this. Um, And she's ready to get back into it. And she's feeling a little disappointed by the fact that, like, all of her promo and, like, getting back in it stuff hasn't gone so well. But she's, like, revved herself up. And she comes in, like, on the shoulders of I was going to say, are you – do you walk in or are you carried in? No, I'm carried in. Okay. Like, on the shoulders of two, like, muscled, like, uh, shirtless cowboys. Yeah, they're they're Chippendale dancers that have been hired (laughs) temporarily for this. And they're, yeah, big, oily, shirtless dudes wearing cowboy hats and bolo ties and little Speedo with stars it's so on good. Them. It's so, yeah. so good. So as they come in, uh, everybody's basically cheering Trash Mama, right? That's what we established that they're more behind her. So yeah, I mean, they're, they're, cheering, they're cheering for Starla as well, but but less yeah. enthusiastically. Like, yeah. It's really so just I, for like super fans. So I think the commentator would say something like, here's Trash Mama. She's been very consistent lately with keeping the house clean, taking out the trash, and she's back to sweep up again. Starla, she's been out for months and months with that broken arm. Has Starla finally fallen, or can she bring it back? (laughs) <laughs> I love it. Awesome. And like the so, music yeah, they, is... they lift you they lift you gently over the over, over the, the ropes. Yeah, 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 into the into the ring. And the music uh, and is some the... like nineties country. It's super, super great. <laughs> like Shania, Shania Twain. Michael Mc... <laughs> Shania is a little late in the nineties. I checked. Um it's yeah. like John no, Michael uh, Montgomery or something. No man, I feel <laughs> no man, I feel like a woman. Or... <laughs> well, that's ninety seven or something. Yeah. So that that wouldn't work. I looked, I wanted to. I really yeah. did. <laughs> okay, so you're you're brought into the uh, brought into the ring, and uh, and Trash Mama, you have uh, you have control uh, you have control of the match. You're the one with the uh, the highest momentum. Uh, how does how does this match start? Right, they they ring the bell, and uh, and and everybody's cheering and shouting. Lights go on the match. What do you do? All right, I think uh, Trash Mama is gonna like brace herself in the in one of the corners. And just say, it's going to hurt me more than it hurts you. And she's just going to, like, launch herself at Starla. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, I would say, like, if I could, like, I would spend uh, a good part of the first part of the match, like, trying to, like, avoid you and, like, shift away. Like, you, like, launch yourself at me and I'm just, like, darting to one side, like, using speed instead of, like, going for you. Because this is my hey. setup, like, I don't really want to hurt you, your mama. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> you're my mom. I don't, you're my, my mom. I don't yeah. want to hurt you. Yeah. Like, and it I looks like that... Star was a little hesitant to get back into this fighting. <laughs> yeah, and that's what that's what the crowd is like worrying about. They're like, she's not even trying. Like she's just dodging the fight. What's going on? And so someone's like, get her, mama, teach her a lesson. <laughs> okay. The person so, dressed as a raccoon is yelling mad. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of there's a lot of um yeah like people in the audience are starting to get restless, right? They're just like, come on, fight. And Starla, you're you're like nervously avoiding uh, avoiding conflict. Mm-hmm. Uh, Trash Mama, you're still you you get to say Holly because you're in you're in control. You get to say when and how you like get a hold of Starla. So what is that like? All right, so so after too much dodging and and I, I feel like we might have rehearsed this, but maybe you like added a couple in there just like to to even more just like make it like oh like just yeah. avoid it, bring it more that dramatic. tension up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, but finally, as you try to just as you try to get away, she just gets a hold of you from behind, just like ah, the, nice. like, like the 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 like I don't know the, I don't have the move idea, but. A good grab. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah. Grab. So like you can you, you can grab her by the wrist and like and pull her to you and like maybe get her like arms up, like get her in a, like a Nelson or something, like get her arms up go. over her head, yeah. like grab her. And and I think what what this is like is like watching Trash Mama chase around like a little kid who's just done something bad. Like, come here, you like you're talking yeah, yeah. to trying to give her a whooping, like chasing yeah, her yeah. around. And you're yeah. trying to like, get a hold of her. Trash Mama's sick of this waiting. She's decided that it's time to teach Starla a lesson. Yeah, yeah, but do you really think the grip is going to be enough? I'm not really sure that she's going to be able to hold on to such a slippery opponent. It's time to see if Starla can get it back. 
Starla, are you are you um are you playing into the like shitty toddler <laughs> thing? Like, are you kicking your arm or kicking your legs trying to get free? Oh or... yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, this is definitely like playing into the like the the authority figure like puny like kid. Um, because I feel like that's kind of the situation we're in is that like um the beginning of this at the very least, especially with the audience roles, um, trash mom is the one that people want to see do well. And so I'm, I'm definitely playing into the little bratty little kid needs to be taught right. a lesson sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, trash mama to get, to get Starla to like pay attention, to get, get her to pay attention to you. You're gonna have to do something. You're gonna have to like, like really like lay it in. Uh, so what do you, uh, what are you going to do? You've got her, you've got her in a hold, right? Her arms up over her head. You got her pinned up against you. Uh, what are you going to do? Can I can, are, are you we allowed to do like short little like monologues on stage? Oh, of course. Okay. Yes, okay. Please. Okay. <laughs> I hope so. Her, yeah, yeah, that's right. As she's holding her, she's just going to say, you know who did that to you and broke your arm. You have to stay in shape to fight this, fight them. They're a monster in the ring. They're not like me. And like, you know, tell her like about like how the, the others that she's going to be fighting are just are monsters and just like scary and. All so when we stuff. say when we say that, obviously we get a reaction shot from from Eleven. Eleven, are you yes. in the crowd for this? Are you watching this fight? Definitely, hundred <laughs> percent. Okay. With right. the hunger of someone who wants to break the other arm. Basically. <laughs> right. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and this is there's a little bit of realness in it too. Like she do, really doesn't want her to actually get hurt by Eleven because she knows that Eleven is just going to. to to just like ruin her like she's actually mm -hmm. concerned yeah 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 you gotta you gotta make her hard before she goes into to, to fight or she's gonna get hurt really hurt because you know mm -hmm. you've been fighting long enough you know fighting someone like 11 could mean like career ending injury and yes. and i think that like some some of this is literally like trash mama's wrestler the person the trash mama is caring about starla jones's character like her person because it's like you're not taking this seriously enough like mm -hmm. yeah, yeah I like she that. wants okay. her to continue her career she doesn't want her career to get ruined yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you you've got her. She's like squirming around. Uh, how do you what do you what do you do to punctuate that? Do you do you like suplex her? You throw her on the ground? Do you like get her over your knee? What is what is the what is the move here? <laughs> uh, yeah. I think she's just gonna she's gonna try and like like just like throw her to the ground. Like just full on, just like over the knee, and it's like bam. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So so this would be. Do you wanna do you wanna like bring her down on your knee, uh, or do you wanna like throw her away from you? Oh, actually, I, I, I like the I like the throwing away because that's like you know making a point and then just like get in the yeah. ring, like get get your mind in the in the fight. <laughs> Like okay, you're giving so me a chance to come back at you. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's have you let's have you make the wrestling move. Um, and this sounds like work. Like you're you're yeah. executing a maneuver to to like set her up for for her thing. Uh, exactly. Um, yeah. Okay. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll two d six plus your work, uh, and we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. I actually have plus one too, so that's good. All right. Nice. All right. So Got a nine. Uh, now you can bump that to a ten uh, if you want to use your momentum. The difference between it's going to be on a ten plus, you retain control. You get two momentum, and your heat goes up with uh, with Starla. Um, but if you stay at a seven to nine, you can either regain control and transition, or give your opponent control and gain one momentum. Um, I think I'll switch control to her because that's pretty much what I'm doing is switching, yeah. control, trying to give her the give her the ring and say, "Show me what you got." <laughs> okay, Starla, you're you're in control. Uh, this is this is obviously a um, this is like a, a maneuver that the two of you have practiced, right? In that mm -hmm. you you like pull her down a little so she knows to jump, and then you lift her up. And Starla, you kick your legs out as she pushes you away. So you land on your back, but your feet hit the hit the mat first, and you hit it with your hands. So it looks like you just got slammed hard, maybe like a yeah, meter you do away. Yeah, like slam the mat to make the noise thing. Yeah. Yeah, but but really the throw is all you. Like all Trash Mama did was duck down and then stand up and give you a little push. Uh, you pushed away from her and you you land on the mat on your back. Um, now, normally when we've seen in the episode so far, like someone getting slammed, there's a lot of like, ah, it hurts, shit. But what, how do you react, Starla? Because now you're in control, you land on your back. Yeah, so like she lands on her back and she does like a, like she let, like has like a um, noticeable like out push of breath, like tries to make it loud or whatever. And then she like, she like uh, shakes it off a little and goes to push herself up and then like does like a shake of the wrist, the hand that was like the wrist that was broken. <laughs> and um, she she like looks at Trash Mama and she's like, all right, Mama, do you want to you want to be real with this? 
fine. <laughs> and then she like la- lunges back into the uh, uh, the ropes and like propels <laughs> herself forward. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, I think like uh, right at the last minute, instead of going for a trash mama, she like we've already rehearsed which way she was going to like try and duck out of the way. And so I hit the ropes again and like elbow her, her in the back. Like oh back. nice! So you you hit the ropes uh, with your front and then throw yeah. yourself backwards. Yeah, and, yeah. Hit trash mom on the back and knock her down. Yeah. Okay. And so she's knocked down like on her um like on her like hands and knees and Starla uh Starla <laughs> does this thing where I think she's trying to work the audience and get the audience back in her favor. She like actually like sits down on trash mama's back and like pulls <laughs> her hair like she's riding a horse or something. Ooh. Oh, so it's yeah. so it's like a it's an elbow, a springboard elbow to knock her down on her hands and knees. So she doesn't go mm-hmm. full on, like hits hands and knees and then you spin around, throw one leg, Riker one leg over her, and then yeah. like pull her hair up. Oh my yeah. God. Oh, what an unexpected reversal. Going for the hair. What a dirty play. Yeah. <laughs> um, Is this move called the rodeo? <laughs> definitely. And so yeah. she's trying to, uh, like, she's showing pretty... off a little bit, like, and like, um, um, Okay, so let's let's have you make the move first. Uh, okay. You're gonna make the wrestling move with look. I checked. Unfortunately, we are several years too early for Pony by Genuine. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, so you, you so slam into her, look. flip your leg over, and, and get on top of her. And we haven't seen we haven't seen this this move. We haven't seen the rodeo in a long time. Is, yeah. Uh, and so we'll see. This is this is you executing a signature move. Uh, mm. So roll roll plus your look. Okay, so you got a seven. Uh, now remember, uh, if if the uh, if the announcers want to put her over and make this like look a little better, you can. It would only uh, on be seven. eight though. No, no, they get to bump you up a whole level, so they go from seven oh. to nine to ten. Yeah, oh, not just plus that. one. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah so that's that. You can only do it once per match. But anyway, uh, your choices here on a seven to nine are either you regain control uh, or retain control and transition to the next sequence, or you give your opponent control and get plus one momentum, which would mean that Mama would throw you off, but you'd get one momentum. I think I, I, I would want to retain control. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah, because like this is right. this is Starla we're talking about a, a but, pumping but, up but, the crowd follow up, right? But also, what if the what if the announcers like love this? This is like the yeah. first time we've seen this move for months at least. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you want to want to put her over? It's so nice. Yeah, to I have think her. it's time to put her over. I agree. Okay. It's it's so nice to have her back in the ring. Uh, you know, these signature moves, you can't get them anywhere else. Starla's the only one who knows how to execute these things properly. Yeah, right. if you were wondering what she's been doing while she's been out with that broken arm, it's practicing the rodeo and this amazing comeback, folks. <laughs> it's, it's like, almost cute because Mama's, like, giving you a horsey ride. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> it's so definitely, the- like... We're still the keeping audience. with the, like, this is not, like, a 11 and Braddy B match. This is, like, much more tame and, like, style stylistic. But, like, it's wrestling, but it's not like someone's going to die wrestling. Yeah, and then in the audience, we can see that a bunch of hardcore Starla fans are waving their pink cowboy hats in the air, and they've turned their chairs around and are, like, slamming them on the on the ground. <laughs> um, okay, so so Starla, they uh, the the announcers take like a mediocre move and they make it look extra good. Uh, uh-huh. So you get uh, you get plus two to your momentum uh, okay. or one heat with uh, with Mama and you regain and you stay in control. Uh, uh, do you want the heat or do you want the momentum? I think I want to take the momentum. Okay, yeah, smart choice. Uh, uh, okay. And so what do you yeah. do? After, what do you do after that? You're you're riding on the rodeo. Yeah, and then, and then um, the way that I usually like exit this move is to like um, like push uh, the person like I'm like uh, riding on uh, over, um, and then like uh, just like jump and like elbow their like neck or stomach or something. But um, because it's Mama, I feel like I do like a, I like push her over, and then I do like the setup to like jump down and elbow her. But then I'm just like. Oh right, you guys. Uh, let, let her up. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, do you wanna do you wanna try to uh, do you wanna work the audience? Yeah. Yeah. This is okay. definitely the whole like this is like, a, oh this... what a good girl. She's not gonna elbow drop her mom in the face. Yeah. Exactly. Mom is disappointed at that though. Like she's nice. You know, she yeah. That'll wants so that it. Can she be wants your, it. Well, that'll that maybe be your, your comeback. Yeah. 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 So, uh, Starla, you're gonna roll plus audience to see how the audience likes it. I don't have any audience anymore. Man, and my rolls have been so good today. But you got you got two momentum to spend, so. 
wow, the audience doesn't like it either. All mm -hmm. right, so you can't you can't work the audience again. And there's just like you get they don't boo you because that's not that's not what they do. But there's a lot of like oh like they're disappointed and they again they're like going they with, with me to mama. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think we're gonna give Mama control. Uh, I think the audience wanted you to elbow drop her, and reflecting that, uh, Trash Mama, what do you do? You're in control oh, now. No. Starla backs away. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna just be look really disappointed and be like, "I taught you that move. Why didn't you finish it?" <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think she's going to try and teach her a lesson on how to do the move properly. Oh, so nice. she's going oh, nice. to. Do the exact same move on Starla, oh, and okay. but while explaining how to properly <laughs> execute it, like oh, really it. showy to the audience. Okay. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So Starla's got Starla's got her hands up. And she backed away. You jump to your feet, Mama. Uh, so you're 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 gonna you want to try to grab her uh, and yeah. basically get her get her down on her hands and knees. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you 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 grab Starla, slam her down onto the mat uh, on her on her hands and knees. Get one, uh, one leg over, uh, over her back, uh, and uh, yeah, and the audience is like cheering, like yeah, they want to see this move done properly, even mm -hmm. if Starla's not the one that does it. Oh. Uh, and they're, yeah, they're they're shouting and cheering, um, and then uh, yeah, and what do you do? And how does it, how does it look different? Describe, describe this process right up to the, right up to the like elbow drop, and then we'll have you make the move. Yeah. So what she does, she's like making making sure to make contact or make like eye contact with the audience, like really working the crowd. Like now, if I taught her how to do this right, she would have done this. And she just like grabs Wait, her hair, know, like really. You know hard. the audience knows every every single part of this move, right? So they're mm -hmm. they're like shouting like how to do it, and in a way they're they're also like trying to reinforce the lesson for Starla. So they're they're yeah. really shouting at you. <laughs> They're shouting at you, Starla, right? Like, and you like you don't just grab my hair. Like you take my cowboy hat off and put it on <laughs> your own head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then of course okay. she flourishes and finishes it off with a big like downward like elbow oh. spike, like right yeah, in the okay. back. That's like well, let's, that's let's how you... you do it. Yeah, let's have you work the audience uh, first. Uh, so roll, roll plus your your current audience. All right. I think and we'll I don't see how they like it before. Yeah. So they're, they're, yeah, they're shouting. I think it's two. Okay. So I had one originally and then I got plus one. Oh, yeah. Oh, 12, oh, yeah. 12. oh, nice. Okay. So mama, <sighs> you get, me. yeah, they're, they're right there with you. Every, every beat of this, of this move, you are in full control. So you get two more momentum, which goes up to four. Uh, and now you can make the uh, make that wrestling move. Uh, and I think, like before, you're executing a demanding maneuver to showcase that you know how this is done. Roll plus work. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So that's another roll. Yeah, 2d6 <laughs> plus whatever your work is. Plus one, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, this is, this is uh, working, out, working out good. Mm -hmm. Teaching a lesson. You. <laughs> Oh no, I should oh, oh. oh no. All right. So you've got four momentum. So you can spend uh you can spend some of that to bump that from a failure up to a, a seven to nine. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. I think I'll bump it up to at least a seven. So I'll bump it up okay. to a seven. Yeah, because seven and nine, seven, eight, and nine are all the same. So yeah, yeah, I'll bump spend it up two, to seven. Spend two year momentum. Okay, so okay. you hit it pretty well. Uh, do you want to retain control and transition to the next sequence, or do you want to get back one momentum and give control over to Starla at the end of this move? Um, yeah, I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna get back one momentum and give control back to her to say, "Are you gonna do it for real this time?" <laughs> when this right, happens, this, I'm just like, yeah. oh, and the, I'm just, the whole crowd's like losing it. I'm just like, twinkle, twinkle, little Starla. <laughs> Is she even going to be able to stand after that hit? <laughs> awesome. So Trash Trash Mama delivers the elbow, rolls out, stands up. Uh, Starla, you you are you are slammed into the mat, yeah. um, but but you have you have control. Moment, uh, Mama has given you the the momentum now. What do you do? Okay, so um, Starla is definitely, like, she doesn't have her hat on. Like, she's, like, red-faced <laughs> because she's been, like, beat on. And she's definitely, like, doing the whole, like, fine. Like, all right. Like, gloves off. We're going for it. Um, and I feel like um, she's she's got another move that, that's called the Falling Star. And so, like, she, like, gets up on the – she can't, like, work the audience. But she gets up on the ropes 
And um, she's like, like waving at him, like, "Yeah, come at me with the booze. I don't care. Like, you guys, like, I've, I've got this. Like, I'm well, gonna yeah, win so what's, this." Well, what's happening? What's happening right now is no one, no one, no one's booing you, right? Because they want you to succeed. Ultimately, they're they're cheering for Trash Mama, but not to win. They want to yeah. see her whoop you so you learn a lesson, and they they want you to rise. They they want you to succeed at this. Uh-huh. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, the Falling Star is tricky to pull off if the if your opponent is still on their feet, like. Uh, so how do you lure Trash Mama over to do the, to do the falling star? Um, I feel like, uh, what she would do is, um, like she comes, she comes up and she's like looking and no one's really like involved in it cause she can't get the audience on her side. And so like she turns around and she, she looks at Trash Mama and she's just like, fine mama. Like you want me to go all the way? You don't want me to hold back? Like I'm not holding back. I'm coming for you. And she, um... She, I feel like the way they rehearsed this, there was something, um, there was another like juke, um, except for, um, like she rushes at mama and she knows which way she's going to juke and she like follows her. So like unexpectedly like slams her into the other side of the ropes and then like down on her face and then, um, yeah. And then, uh, Starla gets up on the ropes and like, uh like jumps up and lands like uh with her stomach on um uh trash mama's back oh like star yeah <laughs> okay all right so you uh yeah you you, you juke one way uh, mama goes for it and then you yeah you slam into her knock her on the ground run over climb up on the turnbuckle and get ready to to jump into the uh into the falling star uh, Hopefully it sounds it like it sounds like you're gonna try and you're gonna try and finish this. Now, if you want one more momentum, no one's used this yet. But if you insult or praise the audience or their hometown, you can gain a free momentum. So this is a, a great thing. You can't you can't work the crowd, but you could say something nice about the audience or Reno or like something like that. If you want that one extra momentum, so you can get a plus three on your finisher. Um, yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like there's a pause where um, she knocked Trash Mama down and she's climbing up on the ropes and she's like. I just want to thank you before I finish this for giving me such a warm welcome back into the ring. And then she just like, without looking behind her, like jumps off, you know? Right. Cause you're, you're facing the audience and you throw yourself backwards onto, yeah. uh, onto trash mama. Okay. Awesome. So then I uh, she climbs up. I, yeah. We're like, Oh, it looks like she's about to perform her signature move. The falling star. Is this going to be what brings her back into the spotlight and the hearts of the audience? <laughs> so or, is she gonna burn, or is she going to burn up in the atmosphere? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not this match we have to look out for. It's all the matches that come tonight. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Rad. Okay, cool. So uh, you, are, uh, you are going to, your book to win this match, Starla. So roll 2d6. How much of your momentum do you want to spend on this finisher? Do I have to choose before I roll? Yes, you do. Yeah. Um, can I carry momentum over or? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, spend, you'll keep I'll spend, whatever you don't spend two of the three. Okay. So plus you, two. You got plus, you got plus one now. So roll 2d6 plus two. Oh, solid. <laughs> oh, Doing whoa. it. 13. All right. Um, so you're, so. you're, uh, you hit your finisher clean, describe what happens and then add plus one to your audience. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and so then, what uh, happens? Yeah, describe the end of the match. Yeah, you know, what happens is like I climb up on the like the second uh, rope and I'm like talking to the audience and then I just like throw myself backwards and like like do a, like it's a like a roll in midair and land on my stomach and then I like uh, right into the pit. like on to uh, on to trash mama and I use my like elbow to like hold her down um, <laughs> and like my um, and then like uh, just like count it out. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, the, like the ref runs over, the, the flip, slams the yeah. mat. Um, um, does mama, does mama like kick out at all? Or is this a straight like three count right off the bat? No, no, she's, she's just gonna, she's, she's trying to decide if it's actually been a hard enough slam as she's lying there. So she's, mm-hmm. they're counting her down, but she's actually just like, hmm, was it good enough? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Did that okay. look good? Like, mm-hmm. Did and we let that happening? rain? I guess Elf will probably finish commentating the match on this big move, yeah? So it's like, oh, oh. and Starla has thrown Trash Mama down the chute. (laughs) This has been a truly incredible comeback for Starla, folks. I cannot wait to see what else she has to bring. Yeah, but that's the thing about trash. It's never gone. There's always more. (laughs) 
<laughs> awesome. So yeah, I think we see we see the we get a camera shot of the the two announcers from the back, and then the the ring up at the top. We cut to the or we we change focus to the ref holding Starla's arm up. Everybody's cheering, uh, and even the people who wanted they didn't really want Trash Mama to win, but like everyone in the audience is happy about how this went. They're mm -hmm. they're happy Trash Mama taught Starla a lesson. They're happy that Starla's back. Uh, it's a real like big moment for uh, for everybody in the uh, in the crowd. And yeah, and um, what? Uh, Sorry, go hug, ahead. And hug Starla. Uh, Trash Mom will go up and hug Starla too, and make sure to like visibly just be like, like, I think you're ready, and like holding your shoulders, like, you know, like, like all nice. the stuff. Yeah, and so it's a big, big cheerful moment, and uh, and and with everybody's uh, attitudes kind of at at max, uh, we of course take a commercial break because when everybody's happy, they want to buy things. So uh, <laughs> while our imagine while our imaginary studio audience looks at images of Barco loungers and cable televisions, uh, let's take a short break, and uh, when we get back, we will continue with more role play worldwide wrestling. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 